AP classes. So I'm sure you've all heard of AP classes. A lot of high schools offer them. And so today I just wanted to sit down and talk to you guys all about AP classes, what it's like being in the class. I know there's a lot of like, I don't know, speculation like, oh, AP classes are scary and all this stuff, but I just wanted to sit down and kind of like alleviate those fears and just so you can get an expectation of what your first AP class will be like. A little background about my AP experience. Um, last year I took two AP classes. I took AP Language and Composition, which is like just basically AP 11th grade English. And then I took AP Biology, which was a two unit course because much information to cover that it would literally be impossible to cover all of that in one semester. Because for my school, we're on the block schedule, so you take four classes one semester, four classes the next semester, and each class is an hour and a half long. And so you take eight classes in total, and so it's it's a little bit different than the period schedule, and I kind of like it better because I feel like each class period or block is more in depth than a period is. Because in middle school, I was on the period schedule, and it was a little bit overwhelming the amount of classes you have in a day, but obviously it's everyone's preference. So the first thing I like about AP classes is they're taught by high school teachers. And the thing I like about that is you get the college credit for it if you pass the exam, but it's taught by your high school teacher, not a college professor. So I feel like they might be a little bit more lenient and a little bit more understanding of like your after school activities and other priorities. Obviously it's different depending on what teacher you get, but this is just what I saw when I was in my AP class. So another thing to expect going into the class is that you'll have homework every night and it's different for each class. Um, for biology, I, we didn't really, he didn't really assign homework for us, we just would have an hour and a half lecture and then each night it was up to you to either study or not study or create like a study plan and how to prepare for your next test. Uh, however, in my English class, we would have due dates and assignments that were hard due dates. Uh, when we were writing our research paper, she was really helpful to us that she would create due dates throughout the research paper, like our sources were due on this day, our bibliography was due on this day, our works cited page was due on this day, our rough draft was due on this day, and so on. So it depends on your teacher and how they set it up. So you can expect to do work every night. It may be assigned by the teacher or, or it may be something that you have to kind of instill within yourself. It takes a lot of discipline if you have a teacher who doesn't officially assign homework but just expects you to study each night. So another thing I would suggest going into the class is having the right attitude about the class. I remember everyone told me, oh AP classes, it's going to be so scary, but honestly just go into the class thinking, okay, this is just another class I have to take. Work that I have to do is just part of this next class I have to take. I think if you go in expecting that it's going to be insanely hard and that it's going to be a rough semester or a rough school year, then it is going to be. You have to just go in knowing, okay, this is what I have to do, so I'll just do it. You know what I mean? You have to just, you have to be open-minded about it and just, Take it one step at a time, take one test at a time, and be really prepared and on top of it. Going along with the homework is setting aside disciplined study time. And this was hard for me in the beginning. Um, well, like I said, biology was two semesters, so it was the whole entire school year. And throughout, I can really, looking back, I can see my study patterns. And in the beginning, I was kind of just like, oh, I'll study, you know, a night or two nights before the test and I'll be fine because that's how all my other classes prior had been. But for AP classes, I really do think it's important that each night you just go home, read over your material and study. And honestly, it's not that bad, it, especially if you take a lecture class. Just take notes during the lecture and when you get home each night, like, read over it for maybe half an hour and you'll be fine. Other classes like English, I remember having to write papers a lot and for depending on your teacher he or she might just say this is your due date have your paper ready then so if that due date is in like a month just make an outline a plan of okay i'm gonna do finish my first intro paragraph by this date i'm gonna finish my 
body paragraph by this day. And once the due date comes, you're prepared. So AP exams. So these are at the beginning of May, and if you're on the block schedule, it can be a little bit rough because if you take an AP class, say the fall semester, then the spring semester, it's a whole like five months without seeing that work. So I think it's really important that regardless of if you're on period or block schedule, to be studying in advance. I started my studying in March after spring break. I just knuckled down and each night I assigned oh maybe like 30 minutes or so to look over all of the information that I learned throughout the school year and prepare myself for the exam. It really surprised me though when I was studying the things that we learned in the beginning of the school year actually come back really quickly as long as you just look over it. I suggest is when you're in your AP class don't let things slip by especially if there's like some sort of material that you don't quite understand but you just kind of like struggle and just barely pass the test or just barely finish this next assignment make a conscious effort to understand that information so then once it comes to AP exam time you're not trying to backtrack and relearn what you didn't really learn in the first place I remember for me um, there were in biology there were some concepts that I just kind of breezed by and I didn't really focus on and then I did okay on the test and then when it came time for the AP exam I was like oh darn it like I, I actually need to know this stuff so I would suggest uh, each test or each unit just make sure you fully understand and grasp those concepts and what I did when I was not understanding something I would get with my friends and it's really helpful if you study with your friends because if you stay on focus then they can help you like kind of explain something from a different aspect or a different wording than your teacher does and bouncing off of a friend is easier of like asking questions and trying to understand concepts together I feel like is another good way to study so my last piece of advice is to use study tools. That can be online study tools, it could be watching maybe YouTube videos about the subject that you're in, or it can be getting books from bookstores, like test prep books from bookstores. For me, I did a mix of all three. I would Google kind of like, I would Google worksheets and um, outlines of things to study for for the exam and I would look up YouTubes on concepts that I wasn't quite strong in and that would help me prepare for even just regular tests in the class and also the exam. I also got workbooks from Barnes & Noble to study with. I, I've used the Cliff, Notes workbook, the Cliff Notes workbook and the Princeton workbook. I really like the Cliff Notes workbook, that's a mouthful, because it kind of explains concepts. They have other workbooks that just have practice tests. So it depends on what you need help in, or you could do both, a workbook that covers both. Uh, also, I would recommend taking practice mock exams or practice tests. Uh, for my class, we took several mock exams and several practice tests so that when we go into the exam, we were ready for it. Um, and it's also important that you kind of Google the information and kind of know what to expect on test day because that was one thing I was really kind of anxious about, like what's it going to be like, how much time are we going to have for each section, how many essays are we going to write, how many multiple choice questions are there going to be. So those things, if you can just Google them and just kind of get those other nerves out of the way and just be... My last piece of advice is to just try your best. And I know that sounds cheesy. But an AP class, in essence, is a college course, I guess you could call it, um, just modified for high school, for a high school setting. So if you don't do the best in a subject, I feel like it's good if at least you try and you get exposed to that material, especially if you know it's a class you're going to have to take in college. I wouldn't regret taking an AP class and not doing good on an exam because you're exposed to the material, you kind of have a little bit of background, so then once you get to college, you'll be prepared on the subject and you'll be ahead of your peers in that class because you will kind of have a background knowledge on the subject. That's all I have for you today. I hope this was helpful and please comment and 
leave any notes or tips you have for AP classes. I would love to hear them. Tell me what AP classes you're enrolled for next year. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! I also got online stud- <sighs>